Greetings, fellow mathematicians, and welcome back to the Art of Integration. We're going to take a look at an integral where we'll apply an advanced substitution along with several algebraic tricks. Now, in our previous problem, we saw an advanced substitution of the form x equals a function of t, and that will work here, but that might lead to messy algebra along with having to use extra substitutions. A more general advanced substitution, which we'll be using, is a function of x, not just x itself, equals a function of t. And how we choose those functions, we choose them in a way that simplifies or cancels parts or the entire integral. So let's go to the integral in question here, and undoubtedly what makes this one a little bit tricky is the square root. Now if we had the square root of a perfect square, that would cancel. So let's try a substitution, t squared, and then we're going to choose as the function of x, the entire inside, x cubed minus 1. All right, we're going to calculate the differentials as normal. So simple derivatives here, we get 2t dt equals 3x squared dx. And from your differentials, we seem to be presented with a problem. Our integral seems to be missing a factor of x squared. Well, this is going to be where we use our first algebraic trick. We're going to multiply by 1, thinking of 1 as x squared divided by x squared. So let's do that first. We're going to multiply by 1, choosing 1 as x squared, the missing factor, divided by x squared. All right, and notice if I multiply those factors of x in the denominator, you'll get x cubed, which you can convert to t here by solving for x cubed. Just add 1 to each side. So let's go ahead and combine everything here and rearrange this to make the conversion easily. We'll have the square root of x cubed minus 1 divided by x cubed and then times x squared dx. All right, now we have, for the most part, x squared dx, but the factor of 3 seems to be missing here, so let's divide that over. So we'll write this differential statement as 2 thirds t dt equals x squared dx. And while we're at it, we're going to solve our substitution for x cubed, add 1 to each side. So we'll get this as t squared plus 1 equals x cubed. All right, now the conversion from x to t should be really simple. Let's go ahead and convert everything here. The square root, we're going to get the square root of now t squared. Your denominator, x cubed, that converts to t squared plus 1. And x squared dx, that converts to 2 thirds t dt. All right, and from here, it's just simplifying and combining. Square root of t squared cancels to t, and I can bring this t from the differential up there to write it as t times t, t squared. So let's go ahead and do that and bring the two-thirds out front. We'll write this as two-thirds times the integral of t squared divided by t squared plus 1. All right, now there's a few ways you can handle this integral, but I like to use another algebraic trick. We're going to add 0. And how we're going to think of 0 is of the following form. If that was t squared plus 1 in the numerator, that would cancel with the denominator. So let's think of 0 as 1 minus 1. In other words, we're going to add 1 and subtract 1.
So we'll take t squared, add one, and then immediately subtract one. And notice if we split this up, t squared plus one divided by t squared plus one, that cancels. And then we'll have minus one divided by t squared plus one. So let's write that out. We're almost done. We'll keep the two thirds out front. And then we'll simplify this. t squared plus one divided by t squared plus one will cancel to one. And then we'll have minus one divided by t squared plus one. All right, and the terms here are very easy to integrate. One, that will integrate to t, and one over t squared plus one, that'll integrate to inverse tangent of t. So we'll write this antiderivative as two thirds times t minus inverse tangent of t. And that's basically it. The only work left is converting from t back to x, your original variable for your integral. And we can do that with our substitution, which was t squared equals x cubed minus one. And we can solve that for t by taking the square root of each side. So we'll think of t here as the square root of x cubed minus one. All right, now you're probably wondering why we're not accounting for the plus or minus there. We can generally choose a valid interval or domain for which here the square roots and squares cancel out. So we're just gonna choose a domain here for which we can use the positive root. That's if you wanna get into the technical details here. So just go ahead and take your t here as the square root of x cubed minus one, plug it back, and we get our antiderivative as two thirds times the square root of x cubed minus one, and then minus inverse tangent of t, inverse tangent of the square root of x cubed minus one. And there we have it. We have our antiderivative using a combination of techniques First, an advanced substitution of the form a function of x equals a function of t. Second, we multiplied by one right here, x squared divided by x squared. And then the other technique we used was adding zero, adding one, and then subtracting one. So advanced substitution, multiply by one, add zero, and we get our antiderivative with a little bit of creativity, which is the whole point of the art of integration. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're learning a lot, support the channel, like and subscribe.